migrating your WordPress website from one hosting company to the next, or even from your local machine to your hosting company can be a big challenge. In the past, I've used several plugins and I've also tried to do it manually. Now, in all these cases, I've always had problems. Something always went wrong. But in today's video, I'll be showing you a plugin which is almost perfect. In fact, I've used this several times. I've tested it on uh, quite a few websites and I was amazed by how this plugin works. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can migrate your website from different locations. If you wanna learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a WordPress mastery course, which is absolutely free. You can go ahead and enroll straight away by clicking the link in the description below. So the scenarios here are, if you're working on your local development site on your computer, as I do sometimes, you can actually do all your work on this computer, and then upload everything once you're done onto your hosting server. And this can be also done vice versa. So you can also download or a backup of this file of your website down to your local machine. Now, this process also can be used between servers. So let's say you have one hosting company and you'd like to move to a different hosting company. This is the easiest way you can do this. Now, the plugin I'm talking about here is the all-in-one WP migration. This plugin is fantastic because it migrates everything. I'm talking about themes, plugins, images, and also the database. It works on all operating systems, so whether you're on a Mac or on a PC, that's fine. It also works on all PHP hosting serve, uh, providers. Now, this plugin here, uh, this is quite amazing as well. It has over 4,000 five-star reviews and over 1 million active users. So as you can see, this is a trusted plugin and it's been tested over and over again. So let me show you step-by-step -step how you can use this and also how you can use this plugin to back up your website. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by showing you a website that I've already created. Now, this is just a basic site which has a few pages. So I have the home, services, about us, project one, and the contact page. Okay, nothing fancy here. Now, it doesn't matter what website you're going to be migrating. So this website can be running any type of plugins or any type of themes. So it's not specific to any theme. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my dashboard and then I'm going to install the plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins and click on add new. So over here, I'm going to search for all in one and we can see it right here, all in one WP migration. So I'm going to click on install now. Okay, the next I'm going to click on activate. Great. So our all-in-one WP migration plugin has been installed and activated. So if you take a look here on the left, you'll notice that you have an entry here of this plugin. So you have options here to either export or import or also do some backups. Okay, so now that our plugin is uh, installed and activated, the next thing you want to do is to go to the location where you need to upload this website to. So this could be on your server. So what I've done here is I've already gone ahead and installed a blank install of WordPress. So this is what you need to do, okay? Install a blank install of WordPress. And then here, I'm also gonna go into my dashboard and also install the plugin. So as we did before, we're going to install the plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. And then we're going to search for all in one WP migration. Right, so here it is. I'm going to click install and then activate. Excellent. So now our plugin is on both sites. It's on the site that has our complete uh, website. And then it's also here on our blank website. Now, let me mention one more thing. Even if you have a website on the server that has a few pages on it, you can actually overwrite that website with your upload. So let's go ahead and do this now. So right now, this is the website. In fact, let's go back here and I can show you quickly what we're going to be exporting. So this is our website right here. So we're going to export this onto a different server. Okay, so I'm going to close this here. So what you want to do is to come over here to export. Okay, so you click, you click on export to. Okay, so here we have several options to export to. So we have file, FTP, Dropbox, and so on. Now, to keep things simple, I'm just going to click on file. The rest of the options here for Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon, and so on, these are for the paid option. So I'm going to click on file. And now automatically, this is, is starting to compile all the files. 
Okay, so now we can see that our download is complete. So all I have to do now is to click on download WP user TV .local. Right, so this is going to be downloaded onto my computer, to my downloads folder. Excellent. So now my download is complete. The next thing I'm going to do now is to close this, and then I'm going to go to the site where I need to upload this website to. So in this case, this could be uh, your new host. Okay, so I'm going to click here on the new website. So again, let me just show you quickly. This is our default WordPress install. So you can see here, it's got nothing on it. But as I mentioned before, this could be a website with some pages on it. And if you import this website, it will override those files. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here to all in one WP migration. Now this time, I wanted to import. So I'm going to click on import, import from, so I can either drag and drop it from there, but now I know I downloaded my file onto my downloads folder. So I'm just going to click on file. And then we can see here that this is the file in my downloads folder. I'm just going to double click on it. And now it's, all, it's uploading. Now, if you have a large website, this process may take a bit long. But in our case, I only have a few pages and a few plugins. So let's go ahead now and close. But before I close, let me just read here what it says. It says you must save your permalink structure twice, okay, and then optionally review the plugin. Okay, so I'm going to close this, and then we're going to go to our permalinks and just make sure everything is working fine. So I'm going to come over here to settings, click on permalinks. So now it's logged me out. I have to log back in. Okay, now just to remind you, the, the username and password you're going to log in here is the username and password of the website you exported from. So this overrides the password that you have on that current default WordPress install. Okay, so I'm going to log in now. Right, so right now I'm on my permalinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here to post name and then just make sure I just click save changes. Excellent. Right, so now that I've saved everything, all my plugins and everything that I've exported from the other website should be working fine. So, so this is the moment of truth. So I'm going to come over here, click on visit site, and voila, everything has been exported. No problems, no errors. Okay. Now, just to show you that all the plugins and all the themes have been uploaded, I'm just going to show you and compare the two websites. So just to show you again, over here we can see we, this is mac.local. This is the domain which had the um, default WordPress install, okay? And then wp-user-tv.local, this is the website which we exported from. So if I come over here to plugins, click on installed plugins, we can see here that we have four plugins. And then if I come over here to the one that we've just exported to, if I click on dashboard, click on installed plugins, we can see here that this is an exact replica. So this is the easiest way you can migrate your website. And like I said in the beginning, I've tried several options and this is by far the easiest. I've never had any problems with this. In fact, over the weekend, I've been migrating all my sites from one hosting company to a different hosting company. And this is the process that I used. So one point to note, if you have a website that's really big, what you need to do is to buy the paid version. So the paid version allows you to uh, export you know, your massive website to your hosting company or whatever you want to do. And the other thing about this plugin as well is you can use this as a backup option. So you can just export your uh, files, save them in a folder, and that becomes your backup. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.